they are witnesses. You don't need the whole cameras on the world right in your working place. Tell them. If they are sick, tell them. If she's trusting God for the fruit of the womb, give her. Glory to God. They're trusting God for a job. Tell them you're going to get a job in less than 15 days from now. Doc, please be, I mean, just be calm and then answer my question. Have you ever treated a patient and you went back home and couldn't sleep because of the patient? Even your children will not permit that. That means when they go back home, guess what they do? With all the things they'll be doing around you as if they are very, very concerned. And when they are, in fact, some of them sleep on their way home. That means they don't even remember. It's when they come back tomorrow that they say, ah, how are you doing? We're not thinking about you. Of course, but the human factor, there are some patients you will just be sentimental. But guess what, child of God? True. When you talk to them by the authority of God's word, when you go back, rest. God is more committed to see to it than it happened than you. Lift up your hands and give God praise. We are witnesses. Lord, as a ministry, we are witness of your resurrection. In the lives and the destiny of people, in their finances, in their health, in their well-being, in their relationship, we are witnesses. Okay, this is what God told me. When I was coming back today, God said to me, he said, a lot of us in our profession, we have gone past the normal what we were taught in our profession. Grace had come upon us. For some of us that are medical personnel, particularly, you will look at a situation and know that there is nothing natural about this situation. Nothing. For some of us that even go around our day-to-day -day activity, at times you just stand and just see somebody. It's as though a... Lord help me. What's the best? It's as though a screen is standing. You will just tell the person everything. And you know humans, the moment you tell them things about them, they get fascinated. One time I cleared the devil's doubt. The devil told me to not try. They called me to go cast out the devil. And I'd known that I should be fasting. And then the devil said, don't try it because you know God instructed you to fast. And you are not fasting. And he's a demon. You know, demon can mesmerize you. I was hearing and still going. As he was talking, I wasn't even answering him. I was still going there. And to, to shame to the devil, when I arrived there, the boy, the boy, Four soldiers, then I was still in the barrack, four soldiers, 50 soldiers could not hold him down.